family and friends. We're gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Tony and Chad. This is not the beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter. As I think about Tony and what makes her so exceptional, is a few like key words kept popping into my brain. And those words were hardworking, patient, and generous. And I'm willing to bet, as I look at these faces, every one of you has been impacted in one of those ways, if not all three ways, by her. So, to Tony. <laughs> you have a natural kindness that touches those around you. This is not only evident in your generosity in the gifts you give, but also in the experiences you provide and share and the time you devote to the people who mean the most to you. Your generosity is evident in the open and loving home you provide to Tyler and Andrew and Jake and Moses and the gaggle of friends and kids that you have flowing through your house on any given day. But the gym they were both going to decided to close. A frantic search for an alternative led to them on separate but parallel paths to a smaller privately owned gym. And, and in a nice bit of serendipity, that gym owner Heath is standing next to Chad today as his best man. So they wind up in the same boot camp class and after a few sessions, Tony decided to make the first move and introduce herself. Later that evening, she followed up with a Facebook comment about Chad's garden. About a week after that, Tony texted Chad to see if he wanted to meet for a drink. Chad by now sort of tuned in, didn't want to fumble the football, so he picked up on the trend and made a reservation. And then, over lobster queso nachos, a couple of drinks, two people became best friends. Hi, babe. Yeah. <laughs> oh. mm. Mm. <laughs> the next week, they met a, made a bet in the gym regarding a second date. Anyway, the loser was gonna pay for dinner. Chad thought losing was the right way to go and he got the job done, though there was some suspicions on the outcome. Then instead of going to dinner, out to dinner, Chad decides to surprise Tony and come to her house and cook her dinner there in her kitchen. Ladies and gents, that's a superpower move right there. <laughs> they always go back to that night when everything changed in Tony's kitchen. The feelings they shared were the same. They had fo each found someone special. The night even fits with their wedding theme song, which is in the duet Leather and Lace, St Stevie Nicks sings, quote, and still I carry this feeling when you walked into my house that you won't be walking out that door. Don Henley sings, you were right when I walked into your house, I knew I'd never want to leave. That sounds about right to me. Chad Michael Blackader. I am so lucky I found you. And honestly, I didn't even know someone like you existed in this world. You are this amazing combination of fiercely loyal, you're so strong in your values, and you work tremendously hard for what you believe in. My love, my best friend. I'm blessed from going from a small family to a big family. I'm so thankful for you, Tyler, Andrew, Jake, to accept Moses and myself into your guys' lives. You also look at the world with so much optimism. You are open with your feelings for me, and you bring the fun, the joy, and the light to my life. And not only do you accept me completely for who I am, but you also want to be right beside me, living each day of this often a bit crazy, and mostly overscheduled life. A life centered on raising our four teenage boys, chasing big goals, and pursuing our many adventures. To my love, I love your strength and your passion. I love how easy it is for us to have conversations. Chad, I want you to know you make me unbelievably proud. And I promise I will do everything I can to make you proud. You make me unbelievably proud, and I promise that I will will make you proud also. I vow to listen to you when you speak and really hear you. I vow to learn from you. I vow to laugh with you, cry with you. I vow to value our differences just as much as our common ground. I vow to listen to you, learn from you. 
I vowed to laugh with you. You are my person, my love, my life, and today and forever. On good days and bad days, rain or shine, I love you forever, and I'm so lucky you're mine. Before these witnesses, you have pledged to join in marriage. You have sealed this pledge with your wedding rings and the unity ceremony just completed. So by the authority vested in me by the great state of Colorado, I now pronounce you man and wife. And Chad, you lucky devil, you may kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Tonight will be an amazing time. The two great groups of friends come together to celebrate two amazing people becoming Mr. and Mrs. Chad and Tony Blacker. Raise them up and toast to the bride and groom. Cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. <laughs>